everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing public goods. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. If you haven't heard of them already, Public Goods is an online marketplace for sustainable, non-toxic, amazing products at a really, really good price. So they have things from like home products of like cleaning supplies to personal care products, shampoos, conditioners, even pet products, as well as grocery pantry staples and CBD. And again, everything is at a really good price because they focus on cutting out the middleman and just getting it directly from their supplier and them to you without having all those markups and everything. So Public Goods reached out to me to see if I wanted to try anything. So I scrolled on their website where they have just so much stuff and I really wanted to try a lot of it, but I actually am just trying a few things currently and I do love those. But again, they have a lot of cleaning supplies, which I was curious to try because I have been trying so many sustainable cleaning supplies lately, but because I already have quite a few in my cabinet, I didn't want to get more and just add on to the things that I already have at this current time. I definitely want to use what I have because although Public Goods does have sustainable, non-toxic products, buying more sustainable things on top of sustainable things I already own is not sustainable. So I passed on that for now. Same with shampoo and conditioner. I was super eager to try it because you can get the bottles and then when you do need to refill, you get like a big pouch and you just refill your bottle. But again, I already have so many bottles of shampoo and conditioner that I've already purchased. So I don't want to be wasting my money in that product just by bringing in sustainable things because the most sustainable option is the one that you already have. But after looking through their website and reading all about them and learning even more about them, Public Goods is such an amazing company. So they do plant a tree for every order purchased and while they do have plastic bottles and they are shipping some things in plastic, all of their plastic is biodegradable and all of their bottles are actually made from sugar cane. So it's not plastic, it's all biodegradable. It's super good for the planet. So now I'm going to review the products that I have been using and loving. And again, all fantastic products. And there is some plastic that I'm going to be showing you, but it's all biodegradable. It all comes from a natural source as well. So the very first one that I've been loving is for my kitchen and it is these scrubber sponges. So I have a brush that I've been using, but it has like a plastic head and it is getting a little dingy. I'm trying to get it to its last, its last use. And I never really use sponges because to me, I'm like, is that kind of uh, like, uh. but these you can actually throw them in the dishwasher to sanitize them, which is really, really cool. And these sponges are actually made of recycled fibers. They are plant-based cellulose, recycled fibers, water-based latex binder and ground walnut shells. So it's really cool because it's not just plastic. It's not just like your generic sponge from wherever you get sponges from. These are again, really good, natural, eco-friendly and are really, really good to use. They have a rough side and then the soft side. And I've been using these while cleaning my dishes and I love them so much. So again, really get scrubbing in there, especially with this rough side. I've never been a sponge person for cleaning my dishes, but you can actually really get on the pan versus my other one. I feel like sometimes I'm moving my avocado oil around my pan. These have been amazing and like i said you can sanitize them by throwing them in the dishwasher which is also something that i've gotten and i've been loving i got their dishwasher detergent so again these are just the little pods that you put in the dishwasher compartment except they are gray water friendly cruelty free paraben free and vegan friendly and they contain sodium carbonate sodium silicate and enzymes and they are phosphate free. These are super good because what I've been using and of course I'm still going to finish them off because the most sustainable item is the one that you already have. So I'm not gonna just let these go to waste but what I always kind of gravitate towards are just these Cascade Completes. But the ingredients in here, it's quite the list. It has amylase enzyme colorants which is really unnecessary. Like why do I need a colorant to clean my dishes? Copolymers of acrylic and sulfonic acids, other things with acrylic malic and sulfonic acid, fragrances, glycerins, like again, fragrances. Why do I need a fragrance to wash my dishes? Like I'm not smelling my dish. And then all that kind of ends up on your dishes, even though like it power washes all of it. It's just like that residue that I don't need this residue of this stuff on the f things that I'm going to use to put food into my body. So again, I'm gonna finish these off. I'm not gonna let them go to waste, but 
a sustainable alternative is one like these from Public Goods. And again, super inexpensive, biodegradable plastic, and it doesn't have all that junk. It just has what it needs to clean your dishes. And speaking of cleaning things, I also got the tree free paper towels, which I think is really cool because there are some times where yes, I try to use dishcloths and I tried to use things that I can throw into the washer and just reuse and are like fabric, but paper towels do come in handy, especially when it's just like a mess or something's on the floor and you just gotta pick it up. But what I like about these is that they are tree free. And they also have toilet paper, which is made of the same material. It's not paper from a tree, but it's actually from non-GMO grasses, like bamboo and sugarcane. So they're saving the trees, they're using bamboo and sugarcane, which are extremely fast growing and super sustainable materials. And they're still super absorbent and soft and sturdy. So you're not losing on any of that quality that you get in like a thick dense paper towel or whatever you still get that in this and they aren't as white I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera but they're not as white as your standard paper towel that you pick up at Target or whatever because they're also not bleached and they're chlorine free as well kind of makes you wonder like okay why are my paper towels and toilet paper bleached paper towels you're touching a lot and it's not as big of an issue but like toilet paper like you're wiping your personal areas with and you don't need that bleach and that also kind of goes with tampons I do believe they have feminine care products on there as well you don't need a bleached product going into one of your most sensitive and absorbent regions so definitely begs the question is like okay why are these generic like random home products that you've just been buying forever because it's just been the norm why are they bleached why do they have chemicals why is my dishwasher detergent filled with colorants and fragrances? So it's one of those things that you don't realize that there's an alternative and that the standard, the status quo isn't the best for you until something new comes along and you're like, oh, like we can be doing this so much better, which is better for the planet. You're saving money because you're not using all these excessive chemicals to make something wider than it needs to be. And it's better for you and your health in the long term as well. Something else that I got, which is very relevant to the times that we are in, are the sanitizing lavender wipes. So I just got this little pouch. I do wish they had smaller pouches that I can fit into my purse. This isn't exactly purse friendly unless you're carrying around a big tote, which I am often not. But they do also have bigger canisters, so I do have like one in my car or ones to clean up around the my apartment. But these ones are, I guess you could keep this little size in your car as well. These are compostable, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and triclosan free, which I'm honestly not 100% sure what triclosan is but I'm happy it's not in here because I don't know what it is and they kill 99.9% .9 of germs and they also have 65% antimicrobial ethyl alcohol to clean up all those viruses and bacteria as well as lavender oil cucumber chamomile flour and white tea so they're really good and nourishing for your skins because a lot of times all these hand sanitizers and wipes like I don't know about you but my hands have been rough lately so to have something that cleans and does the job that it needs to do while still also providing a little bit of moisture I think is fantastic and they smell so good I love the smell of lavender so I'm a huge huge fan of these as well and the last thing that I got to try is this Ayite, Ayite washcloth, which comes from the agave plant, and it's pretty like exfoliative, if that's a word. It's soft on my body because I am using it for my body. You can use it in the kitchen, but I'm using it as my body cloth when I'm in the shower. So it's soft enough to where I'm not feeling like it's super rough or anything on my body, but at the same time, it has that texture that you know you're getting exfoliated. It's almost like a dry brush, but the body cloth version. So I'm absolutely loving this. It also dries quickly, and it's gonna be antimicrobial as well so I used to be a big loofah gal my loofahs would always fall apart and then I'm like they're also plastic I'm just like using a loofah it's falling apart I'm throwing it away so to have a natural thing like this I think is fantastic a great alternative it is 100% all natural agave fiber which is bacteria resistant and just super good and sustainable and a natural fiber that if it does start to fall apart eventually and you do need to replace it then you can just throw it in your compost and it will biodegrade it's not just going to be a plastic loofah sitting there until we're all dead which is dark but that's what happens with plastic people so overall i'm absolutely loving the products that i've been trying from public goods and i also just love how they look like all of their packaging is just so like white and simple and minimal which i think looks fantastic i'm 
a pretty like simple person when it comes to that and I would probably leave this bag of dishwasher pods on my counter. Of course, I'll just put them underneath the sink, but if I had to, I'd rather leave this bag on my counter than this thing. You know, so I just love the look of it. It's just simple. It looks beautiful. And again, even their plastic is a biodegradable plastic. All of their bottles are made from sugar cane. So not only does it look good, but it does good. And it's just a amazing one-stop shop to get all of your sustainable needs. Again, for your home, for cleaning supplies, for your body, just personal care, as well as for your pet, which I don't have, but maybe one day I will need to go to public goods for my future cat. Austin wants to get a dog, I want a cat. I'm like fine with the dog, but cats just like do their own thing, you know? Cats are better in that way. But they also have groceries, just like different pantry staples, as well as CBD. If public goods is something that you're interested in trying, I do have a 15% off discount, which is all one word, low without limits PGA, so I'll have that right here. So you can get 15% off of your first order. And Public Goods is a subscription service. So you do get two weeks for free when you make your first order. You can get anything for two weeks. And then after that two weeks, it is $59 for a year, which is less than $5 a month just charged all at once. And with that, you get as many Public Goods orders as you want, plus free shipping when you spend over $45 for each order. So again, if you try out Public Goods and you really like their shampoo and conditioner, then you can keep that subscription and just buy their shampoo and conditioner refills. So it's really good in terms of having that subscription and having something that you know you can go to that's sustainable and always there for you and also at a really, really good price and looks good. So in the future, I'm definitely interested in trying their different personal care products as well. Again, the most sustainable item is the one that you currently have and I just have quite a few things that I need to get through in my bathroom before purchasing more, but so many of their products seem fantastic and I personally can't wait to try out even more of them in the future. Well, there you have it. That is my review of Public Goods. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried out Public Goods before and what you wanna see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.